So this is the office right here. This yep. is where you're at. You have to back around down this alley and back up there. There's no room to turn around back there. So you Whoa, have to back that's going to be fun. Yeah. So That truck just went flying past me. I don't know what uh what he's searching for on the truck, but looking for a looking at this stamp on the trailer for I don't know if that's I don't know what that is. It looked like the VIN number plate, didn't look like the inspection. Who knows? But maybe it's just uh running too fast or something. He's getting a warning or ticket, teasing piece for him. We're still rolling. Down 26. Coming into Georgia, got the uh, truck must enter the way station. Uh, 30 miles an hour, there we go, we're at 30 right there. It's been a smooth ride, no, no troubles at all, it's been awesome. We get down there about 10 p.m. and then keep rolling. All right, where is the strips at? go over their actual little waist strips, you want to try to not be on the throttle. It gives them a better way of your truck. So like right here, just stay off the throttle at a coast. There you go. Got yeah, the bypass. Oh, come down to 8th gear. Uh, it's 15 miles an hour in here. This is a pretty good welcome center too. A uh, huge place with uh, uh, a lot of parking and uh, like a giant welcome to Georgia center. So during COVID it was closed. I'm pretty sure I've been down here forever guys. I've been down to Florida, I don't know how long. So it's kind of nice to go past the places I used to go to a lot. Probably stop in Brunswick at that giant uh, TA I always like going to. That'll probably be my next stop. We'll refresh there and then I'm only Less than 100 miles from my drop from there. But yeah, big old place, lots of parking. It's a Tuesday night and there's plenty of spots. Okay, well, we're getting into Georgia. Georgia, Savannah. That guy parked like that when there's all those open spots. Why did you do that? Maybe that was from a couple nights ago or something, but yeah, I wouldn't park like that. Let people cut close to your trailer, man. She deserves a wash. She's got a new starter. She needs a fresh cleaning. So they still have not fixed this road. <laughs> There's some horrible potholes right there. Watch out for those. That's a nice peat, old school. Uh, not too many in line, but definitely a little bit of a weight. Oh, it's taking me forever. I tried to get a wash before we went up to uh, the truck show, but it just wasn't happening. So let's. Uh, on KLLM and a flatbed. And a TMC truck in front of us. They keep those trucks clean. And they even cleaned the flatbed. That was nice. <laughs> Alright, it is our turn. Let's get this baby washed. It's supposed to rain a little bit this week, but just get all the, the grime off and all the dirt. Alrighty. He says stop it there. I said okay. Alright, let's jump out. She is purdy again, guys. 
and I paid to have her uh, polished when I was at Matt's, and the guys never showed back up. So, we didn't get polished, but someday maybe. I think they actually do it here in the parking lot uh, at the Loves. But uh, I'm not going to get it done tonight. Got to keep moving. Little warm out here, so we'll turn on the green APU. Check them out at greenapu.com. There we go. And we'll see you in the morning. Okay, this is Comfort Road. Well, that's some huge beams of steel over there. Those ones you see on the giant like quad axle trailers. That's crazy right there. It's pretty cool. I wonder if they're, looks like they're making it here. Look, see those right there? Those are huge beams of steel. That's pretty cool. Uh, but we're looking for 188 on the right up here. They're probably, no, there's not, they can't be making those up here. Maybe they are. Lenny's Winnebago. There we go. Well, I think they're bringing them in here. Oh, there's train cars bringing them in. You can see the train cars that hold them. Okay. And they're piecing them together. I see what they're doing. Alright, 188. Where are you at? Over the train tracks. Uh, it says there's a road that leads to it up here in the right. should be 188 next road where that Kubota side by side just came out and this white truck said 250 feet uh, am I going to make that turn with you in there if I, oh, okay it's grief again same company <laughs> grief grief it didn't say that on the uh, rake on it. says like Kara, Kara something. Vital transportation, okay. And that says it veers to the right. And it's about 8, 10 a.m. as quick unloading as they were loading. We'll see. Anybody's going for coffee. I'll take one if you're going. Hello, am I coming in here for shipping receiving? Okay. 
Sure, if I want to. <laughs> Are you delivering? Yeah, just some roll Have stock. Have you been here before? Never. Okay. I'm going to show you what you got to do. All right. <laughs> okay. You are here. You are here. I'm here. I made it. Hey. Okay. So this is the office right here. This yep. is where you're at. You have to back around down this alley and back up there. There's no room to turn around back there. So you Whoa, have to that's going to be fun. Yeah. So I'll slide my tandems you. after if you don't mind. Huh? I'll slide my tandems after if you don't mind. Okay, however you, however you want to get it back. However you want to do it. Get out and look. Just want, you want to make sure, I don't believe there's anybody back there, but okay. you can check and make sure there's not somebody back so there already. So we'll check first and then, because there was a guy backing up, I think he's putting a trailer away. Okay, no he guy. might have been, but right, just, you don't want to be stuck back there. No worries, it's just you got back up. Okay, so um, they're going to sign off on it, but I, t I need them to make a copy for, actually let me get okay. a copy. Thank you, thank you. Because I don't want them not Giving me a copy so there I can receive it. There you go. making with this stuff. Are you the funnel? Paper tubes. Paper tubes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like to... And they're making huge steel beams over there, or are they shipping them in? Where? When I came in off the corner this way, it was big beams in a warehouse. Like steel beams. Huge yeah, ones. No? It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Do I need to come back in your after? Okay, no, I'll, no, it. Okay. No, I'll take it. Okay, they will sign off. They will give you your copy, and you will be good to go. Thank you so much. Right. So good morning. It doesn't matter, you got one of the biggest trucks out here. Back your truck all the way around the building. Woo. Let's take a walk first and uh, see if there's anybody back there. Truck looks good, all clean. Wish it was polished, but one day. Okay, the man just yelled out to me. He said, it's open, just go ahead. Oh yeah, let's go back this thing around the building. It's actually quicker than when uh, he loaded it, so awesome. Let's see if they left it in good standing back in here, and they make like uh, paper rolls. Paper rolls. That drone footage is pretty cool, right? A um, bunch of mills, one over there and one over there. And then those steel things, I, that's pretty cool. We saw one actually moving. Big beams for building buildings. Hey, we're still clean. Let's get out of here. Always love those cobras. Paint jobs going on in there. They got a nice uh, box body <coughs> Mustang drag car in there. We're getting back up towards Jacksonville, and then we'll probably go to Savannah because, as you 
see right here on Truck Smarter, the app that kind of consolidates all the apps that we use, it um, isn't very good in Florida. <laughs> it's even worse than I thought because I kind of checked a little bit when I came down here. But there's that's all the brokerages um, and that's all the loads they have. So, and I'm right by Jacksonville. Imagine if you were down closer to Miami or on the uh, Fort Myers side, like, oh, pretty bad. So. Be careful when you're going up to Florida, guys. I always tell you this, get as much money as you want to come in and your dead head out because that's why. All right, but we'll try to make it up Jacksonville. We'll probably head up to Savannah. There's an Uber load that was at 600, 645 back to Atlanta, but it was up to, uh, I think, 810 last night. So, but then in the morning, they dropped back down. So it's, it's crazy. They wanted you to book it before. Whatever, that's the games. So we'll see what we got. That's your CDL, like I always say. Um, that guy, he could have took his time on, I would have waited for him. It's better not to rip off the front of someone's truck. And maybe he's just not trying to take up fuel island space, you know, but um, sometimes just pull up and get in there, get out real quick so the people behind you can get something to eat or uh, get their fuel if they're actually fueling. A lot of the guys at this time of day, they're not fueling, they're just getting something to eat they're grabbing something. An old tree farm right there. Fresh and gloves. We're gonna head into Georgia. A couple loads um, right here that are going back into Florida, and then there's one going up to Pineville. And it's just the computer combating me um, because you can see it only goes up in small increments. It's like odd numbers. If it was a person combating me, if it was a broker on a load, it would be an even number. It would be like 1450. It would be like 1550, 1500. Um, so you'll know that. So if you and those computerized ones, you can just. Uh, if you just go back and go like a dollar less, it'll it'll automatically up their counter offer, but like by thirty dollars until they get to a certain point, and then it stops. And then if you offer too much, it just doesn't offer back. So you know those kind of things. That's JB Hunt mostly. Um, sometimes that'll be Uber, but Uber only offer back once. When you're dealing with a computer, a lot of times a little algorithm or something. And when you get to an actual person, that's when you can start actually telling them why and what you would like to do with that load. So, hope that helps somebody. There's the geese, did you see them? There was two of them, I'm getting out of here. Two geese, follow me. Till next time, Florida. Pretty clouds up there. Uh, there's just those two loads that are going right back into Florida. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna come around, there's nobody really responding, it's just the computer. So we'll see if somebody uh, jumps on the horn of JV Hunt, or maybe they can just bounce them to the next day so they don't really care. Either take them or leave them, but not a lot out here, guys. Really, really bad volume for even Savannah, Georgia. So there was one yesterday from Charleston back to Duncan, right where I live, for 900, which is decent if you're in Charleston, but deadheading all the way.
way up there, I offered, I think, $13.50 or something, and uh, it was gone this morning, so someone else probably grabbed it. Decent load to get back home from Charleston. But, uh, yeah, we're in Georgia now. Just stop at Savannah. Um, it's 11 a.m., so... Uh-oh, we gotta see what's going on here. Everyone okay? Are they just taking a pee break? I don't know what they're doing. Or maybe they're just taking a, a picture with a sign. Who knows? Um, but yeah, let's keep rolling. And see what we got going on. So this is exit 58. I'm gonna stop up here. I set my GPS to the pickup for um, where this load is at. So I'm gonna stop and check that. Well, that was no dice. Um, they're still at $14.99. I left a little message you can see right here. I said, hey, for uh, 1800 I'll go pick it up or I'll just keep rolling. And uh, waited there about 10 minutes. No response, no counter offer. So maybe another time, guys. Um, heavy, heavy low going all the way down past Orlando. Uh, that should be a good two grand all day. But you're going to have to deadhead right back up here or up to Albany, Georgia. There's nothing coming out of Florida. So we'll see. We're going to get up to Savannah. Uh, that Uber load also was off the board. It was right here. It got up to, what, 8.15, and then uh, it's gone, too. So I've been noticing that the closer they get to um, pickup, they just bounce the load instead of going up until like a half an hour before it picks up. They'll just bounce it in two hours sometimes. So we'll see if we get some, but otherwise, we'll just get home. Heavy presence of uh, patrol out here in the Savannah area today. Not a heavy presence of loads. <laughs> when I was back there looking at loads uh, or those offers, uh, this is what Coyote had on the board since about 10 a.m. right here. And then uh, Uber Freight just bounced those loads. There's four of them. They're all listed for tomorrow back at 600 bucks. So there's just not a lot of volume, guys, on a spot market. It's a, it's a supply and demand market, so it's up and down. But typically by March, it's up again or it's going. So have a lot of uh, presence today, man. Just pulling over, uh, just, just searching for anything and everything, just seeing if their ELDs running right and what kind of paperwork they got. Yeah. Be careful out here. Well, this video will air later tonight, but man, be careful out in the stretch of 95. What they're checking for, maybe just paperwork. There we go. This is kind of the heavy industry right here where the containers come right to the warehouses in Savannah. But uh, nothing, nothing happened. Maybe it's just the influx that there's not a driver shortage anymore. Maybe there's a lot more drivers, a lot more company guys join the industry. Maybe that's what's kind of put more trucks out there. I do not know. There's a bunch of things that run the whole spectrum of trucking but for now this beginning of the year has not uh taken off like typical years so something's doing it or maybe a bunch of things are doing it either way and we are gonna keep on rolling i tell you what guys first of all it's 92 degrees over here second of all it is packed over here trucks everywhere there's nothing happening with any loads. I kept looking, but people can't get out of the pilot because people are blocking the intersection. <laughs> I've been sitting here for 20 minutes, <laughs> like trying to get out off the fuel line. I'm probably 35 minutes waiting for people to, um, I don't even know if I have a green light. Where is the light? Let's pray. Yes, I have a green light. Okay. Um, I had to wait for the fuel line to open before I could get out of the parking area. There you go. Don't worry, man. You got it. PR transport. And a lot more people trying to get out of pilot. <laughs> that place is packed. Back into South Carolina. My favorite border crossing because that means I did a flat land of Florida and uh, finally got out of that pilot. <laughs> I, don't, I won't stop it that often. I just wanted to see if there's anything in Savannah that would be a good load, but nothing out there. But there are these two loads right here to the right for convoy that. Um, I'd have to go a little bit out of the way, but it would take me right back home and pay for, definitely over pay for all the fuel, but it would just be a nice little backhaul. But uh, let's see if they come up to 1100 on that one, heavy load. But uh, all the middle guard mills will knock down right there. Yeah. Um, let's see if we get that, that'll mean 890, maybe it 
was somewhere along the way it'd be fine, but I have to go up about 75, 80 miles out of the way to grab it. So it's just such like low volume. I don't, I don't get it. It's crazy. But we'll see what happens. If not, we're just dead at home. Um, T Dubs just sent me a uh, video message uh, that her dishwasher will be there tomorrow. That's a nice Corvette. I like it. All blacked out, kind of a gunmetal gray. Uh, but yeah, her dishwasher will be there tomorrow. So she hasn't had a dishwasher, guys, in like a year and a half, maybe a year. It just stopped working, and I always told her I was going to get one. We always forgot about it because we don't use it that much. But when these boys get bigger and bigger and using more and more food, plates are stacking up a little quicker so uh which is a nice dishwasher coming but it took about a month to get it i think so yeah, the first one we ordered took said it was getting shipped to california and then it would be here in like four months we said uh so then we uh, ordered another one so it should be here i uh, should be fun to put it they're not that hard to put in at all if you guys ever have a dishwasher installed unless they're only charging like 75 to 100 bucks to install it just do it yourself it's just plugging it in getting it mounted right setting the level right and then uh it has one hose that goes to your garbage disposal, so not bad, not bad, but and then the lines for water, of course. But hey, we're in South Carolina. We are only like a, less than 200 miles from home. We're right at 200 miles, but we're 150 miles from the pickup. If I get that gun one, I am rambling. And the wind is blowing, and those billboards up there are completely ripped off. Someone didn't tie those down. All right, no more rambling. Let's get through. It's 86 degrees now. The wind's flowing across the truck, and my air conditioning in this truck is frigid. My goodness. I turn it down a notch. That's a good thing, though, because I like to go to Florida. Like the title says, is it time to go specialized? Who knows? Let's check out that one, too. Beautiful K-Dub. They're all pulling the same thing. Oh, uh, whatever that is, Coronado Coal, Buchanan Mine, Coal Mine. And then this one, and that blue one we saw way back there, the same company. That's a pretty truck, though. My goodness. I wonder if he was a Tar Heel. <laughs> okay, let's get back home. Yeah, Specialized, I've heard, is pretty dang good. But for now, we were in dry box. Well, yeah. So, if you look right here by the Kenworth stack, you see the convoy in the very top. Um, this is, I lost that bid and I was heading there. Luckily, it was before I was uh, past the turnoff for 26. Um, so that one didn't come up. But then I kind of looked at the convoy app when I was sitting there at the rest area. And uh, right here, um, that's the same load that J.B. Hunt had listed earlier. So uh, they're just pushing the loads back. Not a lot of volume, like I said. So if they don't have to move the load, they're just going to keep pushing the load away. So let's get in here. Uh, we're only like 30 miles from home. Um, Cash probably in bed with the other two. I'll probably play with a little bit. Maybe I'll get in the hot tub. I just hate that heading home. Um, I know I don't recommend this for everybody um, to do what I do. But I, I do have low expenses. My truck's paid off. Um, and I want to go home to my family. So <sighs> if you're a single truck out here and you're new, like my first year and a half, I was running everywhere, taking Uber loads everywhere, taking lower rates. But um, I know what those lanes can run for now. And the inflation, a load that used to be 600 bucks is now uh, not worth as much as a 700 buck load because money's not worth as much. So think about those things. And I'm going to get home for these kids and uh, put a dishwasher in tomorrow. <laughs> 